Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have here a little mini book that I created using the Julia Felicity Jane kit. And I just kind of want to give you a little flip through of it because I did not do a process video. And so I made this little mini book in one sitting and I think it took me about 10 hours. <laughs> not gonna lie, I felt like I was sitting at my desk all day. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to make it in one sitting. I don't think I've ever made a little mini in one sitting. For me, minis take me longer than like layouts and like pocket pages. And so I was a while with this particular little mini. And this mini is so meta. It's basically documenting creating. <laughs> so I created a mini documenting scrapbooking and my crafty hobby and things like that. And so I, and I did that because um, the Julia kit has all of these cute uh, creating sentiments. Like it was a very, that was the theme of the kit or that is the theme of the kit is like creating. And I use specifically the stamp set. So this is the Julia stamp set and a lot of it has uh, like creating sentiments. And so you'll see me use the stamp set throughout the entire little mini. Anyway, so I made this little mini. It is four by six in size. And this is just some chipboard that I covered in some white cardstock. And then I lined it with one of the, this blue plaid cardstock from the kit. Um, the outside, I had, uh, I, I took so long to figure out what to do on the outside. And eventually I covered up the white cardstock with some of that plaid blue. And then I had this ripped up piece of this paper from the kit. And so I just kind of layered it there. And then I used one of the little chipboard pieces with the heart right there. And just kept it really simple because I did do like my title cover on the inside. And so this little mini, I'm calling it I Create Magic Here. And I did, my first page is like the little, kind of like the title page of the little mini. And I use the alphas from the Amanda kit, which are the same alphas from, they're the same exact alpha from the kit, except in black. And so I used a mixture of the ones that came in the Julia kit and then the ones from the Amanda kit. This die cut was in the Julia die cut pack. And then of course the essential, the mini essential puffy alphas. I love these. I use them like on every project to write out magic. And then this is a little die cut piece from the Julia kit. And so this little mini has a lot of journaling and normally my minis don't really have a lot of journaling, but I kind of wanted to tell my story, like my, my crafty story, because I don't only just scrapbook. Um, so I kind of wanted to like write out my story and how I got into this hobby and and everything like that. So I have a lot of spots where I did a lot of journaling. And so how I did this is I cut down my favorite papers from the from the Julia kit, all the papers from the Julia kit to four by six. And I punched them in and like rearranged them. And then I went spread by spread and worked on like through the mini that way. That's how I did it. And so this one was about the beginning. I used the stamp set here. That's this, this stamp right here. Um, I was going to use this to write out like journaling, but it was so small that I kind of wanted more space for the journaling. So I ended up using the bunch of them that I that had stamped out um, as little ephemera bits. Um, this little piece, how it started, is also from the stamp set here. And yeah, and so this is like an old picture of my desk from I think... The beginning of 2015 I used to do a lot of project life um, in the beginning um, and so I kind of wrote here like how I got into specifically scrapbooking and then journaling and then I have this little cluster here that I made I have some tool I don't know if you can see it but there's some white tool coming out of the top and some tissue paper coming out of the side and doily coming out the bottom this is very textural this little die cut piece is on some foam and then of course I just layered a bunch of things behind there and used some pieces from the die cuts and then of course the stuff that I stamped out for that and this paper I left the braining strip because I loved how that looked together and the washi tape I use the washi tape a lot in this particular mini as well and so this one I did a little journaling spot here because I love this paper and I love how the washi tape is that same pattern and I just brought it out scrap because when I did it um, I didn't have my journaling in mind yet I just wanted to use certain photographs and so I documented the photographs and then I afterthought figured out what I was going to write here. And so here I have a picture of my one of my scrap therapy spreads. And I wrote here about um, 
trying different things in the beginning to find my style and to find what I like doing. And, you know, it took a while to figure out like exactly like the, the format and stuff that I like doing. I know that I can't scrapbook or journal chronologically. That just does not work for me. It doesn't work well. I, I always feel like I'm behind and I hate that feeling. And so I don't do that anymore. I don't chronologically scrapbook. And I also don't work big. The biggest I think I work now is six by eight. Sometimes if I'm in the mood to do a 12 by 12 layout or a 12 by 12 pocket page, I will. But generally I like working small because I don't know, I feel like I, I feel more fulfilled working small. Sometimes big pieces, um, if I'm not in the mood for them, which is generally all the time, it feels like a chore to kind of fill up the page or fill up the spread or fill up the pocket page. Whereas, you know, when it's something small, it's easy, it's quick. And I tend to do a lot of it and that makes me happy. And so I stick with that, the small format. And then of course, uh, I went through a lot of like, trying to find what I like. I used a lot of different brands. Now I only stick to three brands. And so I journaled about that here and my scrap therapy book is like a very good representation of that. It's working small, working non-chronological and working with kits and pieces from different brands that I like. And so I use that there. This one, of course, I layered a bunch of pattern papers behind it. Some of that white tissue paper. I made this is from one of these stamps here. I don't know which one it is. Is it a stamp? No, actually no. It's the same font as a stamp, that's why. It's a die cut. <laughs> I have some of the little poxy dots, of course that washi. This sticker is actually from the Denise puffy stickers, so I, I think I used, I believed I used a lot of puffy stickers from the Denise kit and the Catherine kit, what I had left over. And then of course these are the alphas from this Julia kit. This spread here, I used one of the journaling cards that had like a list of one through five, and so I decided to use this to document like my favorite supplies in scrapbooking. And over here I used some photos that I already had printed out of like some of my supplies in like cute little containers. And so I used the little essential mini alphas to write favorite supplies. This little heart is from the Denise kit and then the papers are from Julia. I kind of layered them. I kind of made this like little off center. I was trying to get a little graphic-y over here, um, but I wanted both of the photos on this particular page. And then on this side, this is just some of that, um, the mini cardstock that's in the Julia 6x6 six six paper pack. And so I cut them down and I like it how it's like a little mini scallop border there. And since it was just a plain color, what I did was, is I I used the stamps in like, I guess like a, a coordinating yellow color and I stamped all on the background. So this one was, um, it's my thing, which is the stamp down here. And I just stamped it all around. This my thing is my thing. And it just creates a nice little pattern. The back I use that that kind of number label. It looks like a punched out like numbers um, paper there, and I just wrote down what some of my favorite supplies are. My go-to white paper doilies. I love enamel, epoxy dots, wood veneer, puffy stickers, and of course my floral pattern papers. Um, so that's this little page here. This page was all about inspiration. So I journaled here about inspiration, where I find inspiration for scrapbooking, for journaling, for my crafts. And then I have a photo, a photo here of a stack of books. These are fiction books that are on my desk to kind of represent that because I talk about how inspiration, um, I can find inspiration pretty much anywhere um, in almost everything. <laughs> and it, it just depends what, what, content what media I'm kind of consuming or what I'm doing because I also talk about going on outside like disconnecting from like media and going outside into nature and how that's also very inspiring but I ended up using just a photo here that I had already printed out of my desk with the stack of books that I'm currently trying to get through um, because reading also inspires me as well and so here I use the alphas from the kit this little puffy heart is from the millie kit and then this enjoys from denise the denise puffy and then this is a die cut that i raised on some foam and then i used i mean this doesn't come out but i used one of the coco kit uh pockets um the envelopes and i have the photo kind of coming out of the little the little envelope here and then i sprinkled some of the epoxy dots everywhere 
This spread details my workspace. And so I talk about my workspace in the journaling here. And I have a photo that I, I used photos that had already printed out for other things that I didn't actually end up using them for. And so this is a photo of how my desk used to look at one point, but um, it is my workspace. I mean, nothing's really changed except maybe the wall is a different color and like my mirror isn't there anymore. But I used this photo of my workspace and then I used this little chipboard piece from the kit of my workspace. I I stamped out my happy place on this little circle. I punched out another circle from this pattern paper, have some epoxy dots, another one of those detail pieces that had punched, some paper later layered on the back, a doily, more of that tool. Over here I have one of the butterfly die cuts. This today is from the Catherine kit, some washi tape, more of the paper, and then the journaling card that I use to actually do my journaling about my workspace, how I like how I like it to look fun and inspiring and inviting in a place where I want to sit at and work. And then I talk about um, how I mix a bunch of Ikea pieces to create my desk. It's actually uh, the Ikea tabletop on top of a Calax shelf and then like a little tiered kind of shelf on top because I have a thing where if I don't see my supplies, I'm never going to use them. And so I like having little containers, all the different things on my desk because I know, oh, that's my chipboard there. Let's, let's use that. Um, or else I like, if it's hidden away somewhere, I will forget that I have it. And so I talk about that here as well. So that's my workspace. And then I kind of like a little pause in the mini. I put one of the butterfly die cuts on this page here. And then here I just put another photo of my desk with sort of mixed media supplies. And so, cause I always, I also do art journaling. And so I have that and then this is happiness. That's also from the stamp here. And I layered it on top of one of the die cut labels and then a uh, flower die cut there. I love this paper. It's so pretty. So this one, I had this four by six photo of a uh, pocket page work in progress here um, using the Felicity Jane Bailey kits. And I already, I was going to print this out smaller, but I already had it printed out four by six. So I just decided to back this paper with the entire photograph. And it's fine that it's the orientation that it is. And then I have it next to one of the cardstock the the colored cardstock that came in the six by six paper pad and so it's a little shrunken down and I did the same thing I took a corresponding like ink pad and then use that um, this create 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 stamp and stamped all over the back put a little square for the journaling and then I wrote desk here um, just talking about my desk I think this is a continuation of like my workspace but specifically my desk so this is how I like to use the stamp set. I mean, you saw here that I, I, I will stamp things out to use as ephemera and, and little pieces, but I suck at stamping. And so it's very easy and like, I guess, low stress. I, that's not the word that I'm looking for, but it's super easy. And like, I don't worry about like messing up the stamp because it's going to be like a background. Um, and so that's how I like using my stamp sets. And I did it again here. I used a green on green, and then I have my journaling here. And this is talking about being a work in progress because there's this little die cut in the Julia kit that's a work in progress. I put it there and then I strung one of the Denise charms here. And I just used a little bit of twine there. And then of course I have the tool and the tissue paper and all the paper pieces behind that. I did some of the washi here because the same pattern as this. And yeah, I did my little journaling here and I talked about being a work in progress. And so like I'm a work in progress, like me as a person, but I also think of my creative process or my creative journey as a work in progress because like, yes, all of the little things that I create, they're finished. But you know, each time you make something new, maybe you try something different and by trying something different you know you grow you learn more things and you grow and so I always think of my creative process as a work in progress and I'm constantly learning new things and growing from that and I also briefly talk about the imposter syndrome here because it took me a while to like really be okay with calling myself an artist because I don't know what it is but like there's in society, there's just a distinction between being a crafter and being an artist. And being a crafter is sometimes it's somewhat lesser than being an artist, even though to me they kind of go in tandem because art is a craft, or you know, art is a, a craft just like you know any other craft. Um, I would think any type of art is a is a specific craft, you know. And so, what's the difference between calling yourself a crafter and calling yourself an artist? And so. It was, I just, you know, talked about all of that and just 
being a work in progress as a crafter, as an artist. And that's what I kind of journaled here. And it was all prompted from that little die cut piece there. So this spread is all about my finished journals and mini books, which I have housed here in this three basket, like the three tiered basket thing <laughs> here. And of course I have more finished projects. A lot of them are like 12 by 12 or six by eight and I have those on a different shelf. But I had this photograph of my little basket with all my finished things. And so I wanted to journal about it here and I used the alphas here to say finished. And then I did my journaling here about how I like looking through the projects in this little basket. And I like looking back through them because I get inspired by my own work. Um, I don't know if any of you are like that, but um, sometimes when I feel stuck, I'll just pull one of these guys out and just kind of look through them and see what I did. And I'll get like some sort of inspiration from that. And so I use the same paper again that I left the branding strip. I use this as happiness again, stamped there. I used a little die cut piece here and this puffy from the Catherine kit and mounted it on a journaling card to like kind of balance out that yellow and I have the rainbow paper back here and yeah that's that one and then this one is just a page that I kind of left here it's another view of my desk I have a little shipping tag there I put some of the washi tape to balance it out again another one of those detail stamps here I use the little chipboard uh, button that says love this doily and what I did I, I that paper from the front the one that's torn um, that's what's layered back here because the branding strip was showing so I had to cover that and yeah that's just a little kind of closing photograph I, I think I was supposed to journal here but I never got around to it so that's fine because this is just a spare piece of the cardstock that kind of just closes and ends the little mini book and so that is my little mini book about creating <laughs> it's very meta it's about creating, about scrapbooking, about my process, about just things that I think about in terms of my creativity. And yeah, I use the Felicity Jane Julia kit, um, mostly the stamp set and all the other bits and a mixture of, of like stickers from different kits. I will leave a link down below to all the kits that I use to make this little mini. I will also leave a link to the Felicity Jane site and to the corresponding blog post if you want to see any of these photographs um, up close, like any of the spreads up close. I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description box down below. I will say that my links are affiliate links to Felicity Jane. So I, if you do purchase something from the links um, or using my links, I get like a little small commission. I always have to say that in the video. So if you're kind of tired of me saying that, um, I'm sorry, um, the description, you know, most people don't read things in the description. So I always have to say it again. But yeah, so those links will all be in the description box down below. I really hope you enjoyed looking at this little mini journal and I hope you got some ideas on how to use the stamp set and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!